Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Okay, so we're going oh, a little bit off sick. topic this here. This makes me sick. But obviously you played for Sweden Jonas for a long time. Best, mate. <laughs> Jonas is Bezzy. Zlatan mm-hmm. on the screen. What a player. Oh, what was it like to was play it, with this guy? Was he a player? Was he a real player? Like, yeah. Unbelievable. You could you could see, like, I played in the national team. I, I made my debut when I was 27. So I was yeah, at, yeah, at the yeah, latter stage yeah. of my career. And at that point, you, you know, you played four years in the Prem. You played against the very best. But I never played with or against Slatan. And I remember coming to the training a bit nervous, of course, because he was yeah, Slatan. And you come to the pitch and... and, he, and you know, you had a training session where he like really showed up. You know, when it when it was at his his, uh, his peak, and he would do things, and we, he would see the game in a way that was so unique, almost like an uh, yeah, like an artist. It, it was like you thought you'd seen it all when you were twenty seven and you played against these big players and with really good teammates. But he was just different in every mm. way, and. Um, <clears throat> Incredible player. I mean, you look at look at his um, like stats across his career. He yeah. played in so all winner. of the big leagues yeah. and did it and did it yeah. like one in two yeah. almost everywhere he yeah. went. Yeah. The other thing as well, because he was so big, he's what six four, six five. Yeah, he's my size, so six five. Yeah, and, and uh, think, but like, yeah, I think people yeah. just thought he was big, but mm. his vision, I think, was the one thing that was yeah. really underrated with him. Like. Yeah. Like, but you see some of the goals in his early years, in particular, mm. where he's like taking on half the team, beating yeah. half the team. Well, talking about goals, um, I mean, it one of his most famous goals actually, and he scored plenty of them. Um, was for Sweden against England, the game you played in as well. I did, yeah. I was uh, the overhead kick. The overhead kick. Four two, four two. Your heart's coming yeah, out. There you go. Uh, I thought the... he had done well. I thought I, I remember watching this and yeah. Hart, he had done really. It's a great header. It is. Yeah. He's put it right it's over to great, the violet. But it's not. It's bad. a fantastic header, yeah. all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's headed the ball all the way yeah. over to the to the byline yeah. over there. I remember me standing on the pitch thinking, as a centre half, it's, it's three two, and it's like uh, it's we're on extra time. I'm thinking when your heart heads it, I'm thinking slot on, you know. You know, take the ball, control the ball, get it to the yeah. to the um, corner flag and save some time. Obviously, he thinks differently. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, yeah, what a goal, seriously. Now, I remember going to uh, to that international uh, when we were to play England, and, and everyone here was a bit, even you, and even they asked, everyone, everyone was... Skeptical. Skeptical and curious about Slatan, but he was playing at PSG at the time, so yeah. he wasn't at United, so... Yeah. Uh, as always with with football outside the uh, the UK, you're clueless because you don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've done it in the Premier League, mate. It doesn't exactly. matter. Yeah. No. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, no, that's the that's the standard over here. But uh, yeah, they were all asking, and media was asking as well. How oh, is he? Is he all that? And I would say, yeah, I think he's is is one of the very best. And and then we go come, and he scored four goals, doesn't he? Not only that overhead kick, he scored all four goals against England. <laughs> did he? He did, yeah. He scored a, a, a beauty after 10 minutes. And then he scores uh, again, second half. And then he has this incredible free kick as well. And then the overhead kick. So, so. at this point in Sweden, Zlatan's obviously the biggest star in Sweden at this yeah, moment yeah. in time. Yeah, for sure. He scores that goal. He beats England. Mm. Um, the goal, by the way, was a 40-yard overhead kick. Overhead kick. Outrageous. Ryan Shawcross yeah. making his debut yeah. is just running back going, oh my golly gumdrops. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so Zlatan is, is, is a star. It is one of the... Greatest it's, goal it's score. It is, but no, I don't think anybody in football or in the history of football would have the the thought process to go. No. Yeah, I think I can. I think no. I've got enough power in my legs here. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. That, that was what I was uh, meaning when when he come in training and and you see him reading the game in such a different way than everyone else. Uh, <laughs> like you say, he, he's the only one who could think I'm going to go. Overhead kick from forty yards. From yeah. forty yards, yeah, it's at least forty yards. It was ridiculous, and the power yeah. that he generates, yeah, to do that, it's, it's just no, that's so ridiculous. When, just when he went, when he came to the prem, so he came in two thousand and sixteen. He was born in eighty one, so he's like 34, 35 years yeah. old. He scored seventeen league goals in thirty three yeah. games for Man United. Yeah. At that, was, that wasn't a fantastic Man United team. We actually no. played against Man United, didn't we? we did yeah. Uh, and I think we got the better of them a couple of th- times we as well. Beat, I think that season we beat them at Old Trafford, yeah. and we lost um, at home. Yeah, we we'll started and played. What, uh, what was that like playing against them? 
it was uh, it was hard. I, I, it was the first time I played against him actually, yeah. and obviously uh, me being uh, me being physical, I, I tend to like playing up against like physical strikers. But he was just different. next level. Yeah, next level. Um, and was the la- it was the <laughs> and he scored two goals. We lost two one, and I think it was my last game at the Hawthorns. Uh, that was twenty seventeen. Yeah, in January, and then I. Uh, uh, I played <laughs> played another game away. The last one, probably one of the last one, games at White Hart Lane. Yeah, Harry Kane scored a hat trick. Got pumped. <laughs> and I, yeah, we got a proper we got pump. pumped. And I thought, nah, this is a, a level too high for me. Yeah, the games move. moved on a little bit. Um, yeah. Did you get Slatan shirt after the game? I got his shoes actually. I know, I, I know this. That's oh, why I asked the question yeah, because I, I remember yeah. you getting them all and did, yeah. saying, "Oh look, everybody, I've got Slatan's no. shirt. I've got <laughs> his boots <laughs> as well." <laughs> Look at this. And we were all, oh, you're sickening you yeah. are, mate. All right. You just got beaten. Yeah. And that's how unprofessional you are. You just yeah. go straight away fishing for his boots and shirt. Oh, you mean, oh, you, you mean that game? Yeah. No, I didn't know. I thought you meant, I thought we were still at the England game. No, no. Yeah, no, no, no I didn't no. get his boots after that game. That, that's the one rule I had when I, uh, I see all those shirts you have here. And my rule was uh, if you lose a game, I don't want to change shirt with someone. You know, you so come there you, like this. So you got Ibrahimovic's shirt at Old Trafford when we beat I them? I did, then. yeah. Yeah. So okay. I have uh, so for that rule and that reason, I don't have a, a lot of nice shirts. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've got a Sergio Aguero shirt at home after he had just scored five past me and we lost eight now. <laughs> <laughs> Different yeah. rules. Uh, Different rules. Uh, hey, you live by your rules. I live by uh, mine. All right. Was okay. Was he the hardest? I would pl- say I respect that, but I don't <laughs> in, that, in that way. Was um Was he the hardest striker you ever played? Who, who is the hardest striker that you've ever uh, played against? Well, I tended to, to, to struggle against uh, the smaller, quicker one. Aguero was mm. uh, was a handful. Carlos Tevez at his prime. Oh, yeah. He was uh, he was so hard to play against. Um, and I get I get this question a lot, of course. You know, who's the you know I always tend to go out oh, Ronaldo or Messi mm. because that's what the, they want to hear. Yeah, of course, yeah. But for me, I would say Aguero, and I would say Didier Drogba in Chelsea because yeah. he. Oh. He had it all. Uh, it wasn't just power with him, was it? No, it was everything. He was so intelligent. Yeah. He was um, athletic. Yeah. He could score with his feet, with his, with his, uh, with his head. His his movement in the box mm. was second to none. That's mine. That's and he mine, was a, he, he was yeah. a team player as well. Yeah, yeah. that's mine. <clears throat> my toughest. Everybody, people have asked yeah. me that, and mine is mine is Didier Drogba. Really? Yeah. Yeah. For exactly the same yeah. reason. It's not just his his pace and power, which was phenomenal, mm. but uh, he, he had everything. Yeah. Like technically everything. Reading of the game, team player, yeah. willing. Like yeah. the 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 amount of effort he'd put in to win that game and get hold of the ball. And it was almost like. When you when you play a team like Chelsea, you try to prepare as good as possible. So you sit all week. You're looking at clips. Uh, for me, uh, as a defender, you're looking at strikers, obviously, and you're looking at Drogba. And like, okay, when he gets the ball uh, centrally, he will go this way, mm. or he will make that run. And it was almost like when you played them, uh, when you played Drogba, it's like it took him 15, 20 minutes to figure you out. Yeah. Okay, he's he's been doing his homework. Okay, I'm gonna do like that uh, the opposite this game. And he would like change his way of of, of playing, just just like really that. reading your uh, in defender. the moment. That's yeah. I think that's such that a skill, so isn't it? I think that's one thing that yeah. genuinely people don't understand is what separates the very best from good is having adapted at that moment in time. Yeah. In that moment, in the pressure, in the game, yeah. is going right. I might have prepared all week to try and do this to get the better of my opponent, exactly. but he's done the same as well. He's been preparing as well to get the best of me, so I'm yeah. gonna have to change it up a little bit. And to have the ability to be able to change and go to Plan B and then execute it. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.